Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Bison Workshop, I'm Bob, and today I tackled a drill press. No, I didn't video it, <laughs> so you can just go on and cuss me now. Uh, it ain't no different than I did to the uh, bandsaw, exact same thing, only thing is different is I put a box up here on the side. I'll show you. I put that box right there. Got my potentiometer in the front. And basically I just moved this switch from here to here. I didn't cut this. I cut the box to fit the hole that this was in, and then I just moved this out to the outside of this, and ran all my wires for the 12 volt, or uh, 12 volt, DC motor over into it. It can unplug from right there, anytime you want. You can just unplug it, take the motor off. So, I wanted that to stay like that so that if I ever needed to change that motor, I can. Alright, well I added that to it. This uh, thing here that holds my, some of my bits. And uh, we'll uh, show you. Uh, I mounted my transformer or my cleaner up. <laughs> uh, mounted that there on a piece of aluminum. So it was out of the way. But we got my light and the motor. So now we'll set you here. And we'll see if we can't drill a hole. I've already drilled a couple as you can see. I need to put a real thumb screw on that thing with a handle so I can tighten it real good. Alright, so we'll just pick us a big old bit here. Alright, we're going to move that on over. Let's tighten this. And we're going to move over here to a flat spot because that's got like a downhill right there. We got her licked. I also changed the motor and put that one on it because it was painted. This has got that textured paint on it. And it just looks better than the other one. The other one, the other one's right here, it looked pretty bad. It's real nasty that needs painted too and I'm gonna keep these motors that's a 2.25 and that one up there is also a 2.25 so so there you have the uh, ram machinery <laughs> which is the same exact drill press as crafted is bit rebuilding right now uh, so we also found out he's got my same exact uh, vice too so now you guys have seen this work. 
I really didn't have no issues with it. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like about it was because of the treadmill uh, features that are in it. When you go to put pressure on your drill bit, drill bit, it would speed up like it was trying to compensate for a drag, uh, like a treadmill would do. So uh, that's not going to work on a drill press. Uh, it would have worked on the bandsaw because the bandsaw wouldn't have had an issue with that because it's a steady cut. It's never the same or different drag on it all the time. It's it's pretty much the same. Uh, so we found out that this will work for a bandsaw and I don't think it's going to work on a, a sander because you're going to be putting drag on it when you're putting your piece of metal in it to sand. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did to the drill press and the bandsaw to the the uh, sander, uh, belt sander. I got a disc and belt sander over there and it's got <laughs> it's got a third horsepower motor on it. Wow. So I'm going to upgrade that and put a treadmill motor on it and that one I can paint it black to make it match that, that one. But eventually all mine are going to go DC motors. Uh, they got more horsepower and uh, I've just about got it to where I'm starting to get comfortable with the system and uh, still got some bugs to work out of it uh, before I go working on the lathe. Now when I go to do the lathe, it's going to be because I need a motor. I'm not going to do it if that motor is working fine. Uh, I'm just trying to get my bearings together with all these other tools like the bandsaw, the drill press, the sander, and hey, you probably even make a grinder out of one of them. Uh, so that way by the time something does happen to the lathe that I have to replace the motor, then I know what I got to do. It's a little more complicated with the lathe because you, because you got the um, well the forward reverse switch wouldn't be too bad uh, the power switch I would want to change that power switch to a manual power switch that one is a manual but you push it in and it gives a signal to turn on it's not a push button type. I'm almost certain. Yeah, it's just a push button type. So you're, you'd only have contact while you have the button push. So it's a uh, control board uh, taking over after you hit the button. Uh, it's not like a toggle switch. You flip it and it's on. Uh, this one you push it, it's on. And it's on as long as you push it and it activates the rest of it and then the kill switch finishes it out something like that <laughs> but you know i can do the forward reverse with no problem i'm going to probably use the same switch uh i'd have to change the talk or the power switch to a toggle switch or some some kind of safety switch something that can't be easily pushed uh, We'll figure something out. Maybe I'll do a fingerprint uh, switch. That way nobody can use it but old Bob. <laughs> anyway, got a controller for sale. Going on eBay here as soon as I get done with this video. Probably It'll probably be up there before the video is done. So by the time you see this, this will probably be on eBay because I'm going to go in start my files saving and loading them into Movies Maker. While that's going on, I'll put this on eBay and uh, 
you guys can buy it if you want it or to so I don't have to pay eBay for selling it if you do want to buy it just PayPal the bison workshop at uh, bison workshop at gmail.com and uh, if you do that I still got to have shipping so I want fifty dollars for the uh, controller and ten dollars for shipping and that's the same for everybody whether you're in California whether you're in New York no matter uh, so sixty bucks because that's about what I'm going to get for it on eBay because uh, I charge fifty plus ten dollars shipping so it's the same thing that eBay would do the only difference is if you buy it through PayPal I don't have to pay eBay for selling something anyway there you have the drill press starting to look pretty snazzy uh, although I gotta clean the top up I've let it neglected it it needs waxed it's cleaned and waxed got a bunch of overspray on it from everything in here that fan does the, does the job that exhaust fan down there but it's not fast enough <laughs> anyway don't forget to like share comment subscribe and give them a thumbs up man you guys have a good one. Later.